So guys, I have a huge, ginormous, huge, giant Dollar Tree haul. Most of it is stationary, but I have a lot of a uh, lot of other little random things that I am going to throw into this haul. This is going to be a long video, so make sure you get comfortable, find a snack, get a drink, whatever it is. Um, and let's go ahead and jump into it. If you're new here, hi, welcome to All Things Kawaii. I do a ton of hauls because your girl likes to shop. And um, I also am obsessed with stationery and all things cute. So if you like content like that, take a moment and maybe subscribe because I would love to have you here. And let's get started. Okay, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and jump in. I'm going to start with the um, non-stationary items. I'll save the stationary items for last, if that makes sense. Of course, it makes sense. Anyway, guys, um, so yeah, I haven't done a Dollar Tree haul in like, I think almost two months. So I've been collecting this for the past two months. Um, I did get a question. I did get a question the other day if, um, how many times I go to Dollar Tree. I actually go to Dollar Tree only once a week only <laughs> I go to Dollar Tree once a week um, usually Thursdays or Fridays I always have to pick up things that I actually need so like I get my wipes there razors toothpaste I mean little things like that and then I always check to see what they have and um, yeah so anyway okay I'm gonna start with this desktop mini game <laughs> I love these little mini desktop games. I think they're so cute. Um, yeah, and so I found this one. It's a mini four in a row mini game. So it comes with a game board and 42 colored chips and it just looks like that. And I just, I love those. They're just, they're like great little gag gifts. They don't make sense. They're, I don't know, I like them. Anyway, um, I did pick up some socks. I got these that have gray llamas. I love the maroon background. And then it comes with these striped ones with the gray, blue, orange, and maroon. Um, these are by Juncture and they fit sizes six to 12 in their women's socks. Um, yeah, I love their socks. They always have really cute ones. But these are the only ones that I found this time around. Um, and next up is a water bottle. Um, I think this is one that they released quite a while ago and I barely found this, um, but it's this really cool iridescent kind of like oil slick is what it reminds me of water bottle. You can really see it there in the cap and then the actual bottle itself. It says it's BPA free, but I thought this would be cool to kind of customize somehow. If I had, if you had a Cricut, this would be a cool thing to pick up and maybe like put like a monogram on or something, but they're a Dollar Tree. Um, a lot of these things, by the way, some of it may be like older stuff. It's because my Dollar Tree sucks. We get things like way, way, way late all the time. So sorry in advance. Um, I also found this cute dinosaur. <laughs> so random, but he was right there at the checkout and he looked really sad. And I actually have the, I think it's the Bronchiosaurus and stegosaurus so i saw the triceratops and i was like oh she looks so sad do i need her no absolutely not she was an impulse buy but i decided to bring her home um and then i found these really cool holographic little plates in the party section i always like to have fun little paper plates on hand um you get 14 and um yeah whenever i'm eating like snacks or a sandwich or something and i don't want to like use like a regular plate I like to use these and they're fun and cute and you can also do a lot of like crafts with these as well different DIYs this is so cool though like the holographic is like so vibrant and it's like almost hypnotizing okay and I also <laughs> found these ugly doll keychains if you've seen my past few Dollar Tree hauls over the course of a few months, I have been trying to collect this whole set and I think I'm missing only one, but they're the little fuzzy ugly dolls and they're just little backpack clips. And this turquoise one, he's really fuzzy and cute. He's supposed to look like that. I think these are so cute. And these are by Hasbro, so these are definitely not a dollar. Um, also, since I did get these, like a lot of these items before like December, um, yeah, I've been collecting, it's a collective haul, duh. Um, half of these items were like a dollar when things used to be a dollar, but most of them a dollar twenty-five. Um, anyway, the next one is this little red bat. I think it's a bat. Kind of looks like one, but he's really cute. Um, so I found those. And then I also found these, which I think is the collection of the Crafters Bench little craft kits, which are great as little gifts. Um, they have the button bag 
which you get everything that you need. So it has the bag, a needle, thread, tin buttons, and two shaped fabrics, and the instructions. You could store little accessories in here or whatever. Um, and then this one is called the Dare to Dream Board, and it has everything. So a thread, paints, one paintbrush, a glue, one board, two shapes, and sticker sheet instructions. Oh, it comes with three sheets. Those stickers are cute though. I like all the feathers. So found that one. And then the faux stained glass kit, which is really cool. And you get one plastic bottle, three window paints and instructions. These are great if you have kids and you could just have like these little like kits that are ready to go um, if you wanted to do something <laughs> um, fun for the day I mean and for the price I think they're totally worth it um, but yeah I just thought those were cool so pick those up okay and then I also finally found these little ceramic planters I've been trying to collect these since they got released since November um, but yeah I found the cute little puffin pepper the puffin so cute and then the polar bear pauline the polar bear and she's clinging on to like some ice these are so cute um for christmas my fiance found me candace the cardinal and then i think my last dollar tree haul i found stanley the seal so now i have the whole winter collection and these are so cute okay so next up i have a couple of like beauty products not really not really um, I used to do like my beauty product Dollar Tree finds haul thing. I used to separate them and then I just stopped and I just started using the items, which I'm going to stop doing that. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know why. But anyway, I found some nail stickers at Dollar Tree. These are so cool. Um, they're kind of like a teal color and it has silver glitter and you get 22 nail strips. So pretty much like two sets. So... I'm excited. I haven't painted my nails in like a week, so I'm gonna try some nail stickers. Um, and then the last two things are these just Bolero skincare things. I got this Soothing Milk Elixir, which has honey and turmeric root. You do get a fluid, one fluid ounce. Um, yeah, so it just looks like this. It's just like a little serum. Um, yeah, I actually like to use these and surprisingly these actually make my skin pretty soft I have very sensitive skin and I don't break out with these products you know they're not life-changing they're not life-altering by any by any means you know it's you kind of get what you pay for but I've noticed my skin is softer so I guess it does something I guess it does like hydrate this next one is acai berry and hyaluronic acid um, and that's what the packaging looks like Okay, and then last few items that are non-stationary, some hair accessories. Dollar Tree always has some really good hair accessories. You can find some really awesome things. So I did find some scrunchies. Um, so there's this one, which is kind of like a tan color. It's like a faux suede, really big, chunky scrunchie. And then the next one is this one. I actually have this one in the white and navy, and I think it's like a pink peach color, but I found this one with the baby blue and the pink, and they are just like Hawaiian flowers. They're super cute. I love these because they're so soft on my hair. They don't like bend it, um, and they're cute. So I grabbed those, and then I found these cool claw clips. You get four in a pack, so two of them, are kind of like matte and then these are like translucent or like little squares or squares triangles um but yeah these are cute to kind of add like on the sides of your hair if you kind of want to do something with it but not really try and then the last one is just this tortoiseshell tortoiseshell hair clip so you just get one but i thought that was cute i love little hair clips just to kind of put it on the side looks like i tried we love that <laughs> so yeah moving on to the best part which is of course stationary okay guys so of course i had to find a ton of new stickers um again like a lot of these are probably not even <laughs> they're not new anymore because my dollar tree is like yes let's get products from six months ago um so i guess i'll start with these bigger sticker sheets so i did get this one which has laser foiling and it has these like astronauts rocket ships i love little astronaut dogs so cute and you get 55 pieces and the next one you get 62 pieces and it's like a little under the sea themed 
that shark's super cute. And the octopus as well. A cute little jellyfish. Um, next up, you get 50, and they are glitter stickers. Like, have some, they have some, like, iridescent glitter. I love the little pigs with the wings. And the cute cats with sunglasses. It's like donuts and cactus and ice cream. It's just like random stuff. And I love when they do things like this. I love the random sticker sheets. Um, this next one is actually cool because it's double sided. I love when they do this. Um, this one has like a pearlized, it's not metallic or foiled, it's kind of like pearlized if that makes sense. But it's just different fruits and like desserts. There's like cupcakes, there's lollipops bananas pineapples I love the watermelon and you get 86 86 um, okay and then moving along I did find more from this collection this paper is interesting cuz um, it's like the same paper that they use to make the wall stickers so yeah and they're double-sided as well so this one you get 68 it's more of a pastel kind of thing going on but I really like those donuts I thought those were so cute and I like that little camera and the avocado with the face is really cute and then the next one you also get 68 this one again is kind of more random very colorful which I love um, lately my journaling has just been super bright and colorful love the fries but I love it okay um and next up i did get these three which are obviously from like the same line they're kind of like glittery um but I, we've seen these like um in different collections like other sticker sheets i think even a journal if i remember correctly um so i found these little sloth ones with the rainbows i actually have the 3d versions of these with the silver clouds and they're just really cute you get 15 and then this colorful cat face set the ones with the glasses i love and you get 15 and then my favorite one is the panda cupcakes the panda donuts like just so freaking cute i like how they have little cherries on top well some of them do and you get 17. Um, and then this next one um, is a laser foiled sheet. We've got some kawaii foods. Love the peanut butter and jelly, the avocado, the bacon, donuts, just like everything that's perfection. I love when they do things like this. The little strawberry jam is so cute. And I also really like the green background. I feel like it really makes it pop. But yeah, I don't think I have this one. I might have one already but I don't remember because I have so many stickers but if I do it's fine I'll still use them um, anyway okay and then I also found this one which is gorgeous 14 pieces and these are 3d they're kind of like a plasticky you can see right there they're kind of shiny but we got a strawberry some grapes I love that they did a little pomegranate in the top I thought that was cool and then this set, you get 177 and you get multiple sticker sheets. I'll open this one up so you can actually look at them. They kind of can't, they're like covering each other. But I love when they do these sets because you get so many different stickers. This one, you can see all the dogs and cats and there's even little birds. And it has that gold laser foiling. There's a mouse in here somewhere. Where is he? There he is, right there, so cute. And then you get an alpha sticker sheet. And these are just like lavender colored alphas. Oh, I thought they had numbers, but they don't. That's fine. And then this one with the rectangular stickers. Got the cute little mouse eating some cheese. There's the fish. I have a little scene right there. And then the last one is always a little plastic 3D one. The cute bunny. And the mouse. I'm so happy they decided to put the cute little mouse. Okay, next up are these really cute cats from Crafter Square and their pop-up stickers. They also have a little bit of gold foiling. You can see that there in these little polka dots. And these are pop-up and you get five, but they're, they're big. These are big stickers, great for scrapbooking. Um, and then this set, you get seven. They have a little bit of glitter and they're clear, which I think is cool. That little bear is so cute with his little shirt, and I love the mushrooms. 
absolutely adorable. Um, and then I found this right at the checkout. They usually have these in the fun find section, but you get over 250 stickers and they have a new set of sticker books. This was the only one I was able to find. Um, so let's flip through this. So the first sheet has these cute, colorful little monsters. The little purple one here is so cute. So random. Um, these little sharks. So cute. I love this one here that's like so happy with this like cup of coffee. That's me every morning. And the next one has like buses and stop signs. Very colorful. And this one we have planes and I guess things that go up in the air. The little, um, what is that called? <laughs> Not a parachute. <laughs> um, hot air balloon. <laughs> Um, and then these superhero stickers. I know sometimes they do repeat like one or two of the sheets. I don't know why, but the lemur one is everything. And then we have some sloths giving me summer vibes. The koala sitting in the back, the surfboard. <laughs> and then some pirate animals the monkey. I love the grumpy looking well. And then this one, which is very like, I don't know, kind of gives me like old school tattoo vibes, I guess because of the snake and the anchor. The eyeball's pretty cool. And then we have some disco animals. The llama I'm obsessed with, of course. You guys know I love llamas. There's like little disco balls. And then the last one, we have some dinosaurs. I like the little um, mini volcanoes. <laughs> They're not actually volcanoes, pretty much though. They're like, they spout like lava or steam. Look how cute he is. Oh my God, I love dinosaurs. Okay, so anyway, that is the flip through from this little sticker book. Let me know in the comments if you have been able to find the others in this set. Okay, um, so moving on with some Crafter Square stickers, um, I did get this cute set. You get 12 and they are just the traditional like pop-up stickers and it's obviously a beach themed one. I know. I really like the little ocean waves. That is cute. Um, I finally was able to find one of these. I've seen these in so many other hauls and I'm like, when is my Dollar Tree gonna get these? When, when, where, why? And I found one. <laughs> but they're windows, like this whole scene. I mean, just take it in, this is beautiful. I love the chair with the, I think these are pansies. And the hat, just like everything, the window. So you get six stickers, by the way. Um, these are gonna be beautiful in like card making. I just wanna make cards with this, but I, for what though? <laughs> I don't know. Mother's Day maybe? I know that's a far stretch, but you know, I don't know. Um, I wish I could have found another one because I definitely would buy two of each of these, of the different styles, not of just this one, just because I would have one that I would actually put the entire scene in my journal because it's up, of how beautiful it is, like all the detail to it, like down to the floor and the building, the shading, like everything that you lose when you actually take the sticker off. And then the other set, I would actually like use the stickers, but so beautiful. Um, next up, we have this eight piece set, which have some like gunmetal glitter. And yeah, I love the, this right here. I don't know why I can't, think of words today like do you ever have those days where you're just like I can't talk like I'm just not gonna talk <laughs> I can't say things right I'm like stuttering I forget the words like what is going on <laughs> maybe it's just this weather because it's super gloomy and rainy today but I love this frame here I thought that was cool and then this one um you get 35 little like puffy tiles and then they have this gold metallic thing going on with the white and black. I actually used some silver black um, tiles like this from a different set, of course, um, in my January planner um, for my cover page. I used some of those, those are really cool. All right, and some 
more little 3D stickers. These are, I call them my stained glass stickers. I call them stained glass stickers because they're like clear, but like colorful, like stained glass. Um, so I do have this already. They're llamas with cacti. You get 13, super cute. Um, I've shown this in a haul before, but I'm glad I was able to find another one because I already used half of the sheet and I was getting very sad. So I have another one. Um, and then this one, get 13. And this one is so cool. I love the random tomato. I know tomatoes are fruits, but I feel like you just don't see that when you see like something that's like fruit themed. I also really like the little star fruit too. I thought that was cute. And then the last sticker sheet, you get 11 and it's very summery and colorful. I love the flamingo and the little watermelon slice always gets me. So yeah, those are all the stickers that I've picked up in the past, I don't know, two months, around two months. And I did find a new set of clear stamps and you get 12. These are such a great deal at Dollar Tree. And yeah, it's a summer themed, which is great. The little ice cream. It's a summer, but beach ball's cute. So yeah, I think I have, I need one more to add to that stamp collection and I'll have all of them that they've released so far. Um, hopefully they release more. Um, I'm excited to see what Dollar Tree is going to put out this year, especially with the increase. We're supposed to get better items, bigger items, so hopefully. Okay, so those are all the sticker sheets that I did find. Moving on to journals. Um, you guys know I love my journals. I use them all the time. Um, so anyway, I did find these two, which are by Crown Jewels. They're like the larger size notebooks. I love the colors and I also really like that they did something that's a little bit more mature. I know not everybody's into having, I don't know, pineapples or cats all over your journals and stationery. Sometimes you want something that's a little bit more simple, um, subdued. So this dusty purple is beautiful and it just says notes in this gold foiling. It is lined and it has an area to write your subject and date very cute and then this taupe one that says big plans and it's literally the same thing like this journal is gonna be filled up so quick but yes again I'm still finding journals that they've released from back to school last year in August I'm still barely finding them so they're trickling in um and then here's another one that is like this kind of like design it looks like something you would see at like Target not Dollar Tree but it's like this cream color and it just says notes in this beautiful gold foiled cursive. And yeah, it's lined. It says notes on the top, which I like that little added detail. You could use this as your diary, whatever. Um, and then this one was found in the um, plus section. Um, it's a llama. <laughs> I don't really have to explain myself. No drama llama. Has some holographic foiling this one was three dollars it's a big chunky notebook now this one i would actually use for my diary i use the really big chunky notebooks to write in pretty much every day um this is how the paper looks it's pink get a ton of paper in here now when i found this quick little story i opened it up and the inside was like coming apart from like the binding and so we were checking out my fiance was like go see if they have one that's good i literally went through a stack of i don't even know like 20 of them and they were all broken i found one that was perfect so i picked this one up when i got home and i opened it up it already ripped and it wasn't like this when i bought it so the binding is just not it i mean it's still gonna work but like <laughs> does anybody have any suggestions on how to fix this like what do i use tape glue like i don't know i mean for three dollars still i think it's a great deal this is magnetic by the way so satisfying but um because i feel like if i below this would be five bucks two dollars more so i guess you know you get what you pay for it's okay. okay and then the next three journals are the little basic journals that you can decorate your own and they come with the sticker sheets which pretty much get it for the sticker sheets let's be real um but they are by jot and you get 60 sheets so this one's like this magenta color and the lines on the inside always match the cover which is cool um so this sticker sheet kind of 
gives me 70s vibes for some reason. I don't know if it's because of the stripes and the colors, but super cute though, love that one. And then this next one is this beautiful like turquoise color and we have rainbows and clouds, tons of holographic foiling. And then the last one is this beautiful, very light lavender color and it says do it for you with the magic crystal ball and the butterflies and silver foiling. I love these. I always take the sticker sheets out and use them for other things. I don't use them to decorate the cover with. I actually use other stickers to decorate the covers with these. Um, so I found those. Um, anyway, and then next up, I found these in the little fun find section. They are calling them mouse pads because I guess because of the shape, but you get 40 sheets. They're eight by six inches and it's like little lists. So this one is very pink. <laughs> it says, you're killing it, babe, pretty and productive. Girls around the world, check you out. So you can make multiple lists um, of what to do for the day. These are great if you have a desk, you could put that on there. And then the other option says, if you forget one more time, get it together, maybe one day. And you could just write everything that you need to do for that day. These are great, like I said, if you have a desk, if you work in an office, something like that to have everything right there. I actually use these. Um, I keep them here on my desk for work, for things that I need to do around the house. I always start every day with the list. I don't know, is that crazy? Of what I need to do around the house, like cleaning wise, um, all that different stuff and pet routines because I have um, three dogs and a hamster and a rabbit. So there's always stuff I need to do for my pets. <laughs> So lists are always great. All right, and continuing with more paper products. Um, so some more list pads. So I did get this one, which has a calendar, which is pretty nifty. Um, and then the bottom part is just lined, but it has a beat and it says stay upbeat. I can't with puns. I love puns. So I knew I needed this. Um, yeah, and it is magnetic. So great for the fridge. The next one is this one, which I really liked because it's like a grid print. It's not like lined. I thought that was interesting. You can use it like this too. I liked all the bright colors with the blues and the yellows and stuff. And it is lined and you get 60 sheets. And then the next one has more muted colors. But I loved the flowers in the mason jar. And it says take your time. Again, another pun. I can't. 60 sheets. The magnet's off. <laughs> but it's fine. Um, yeah, so I obviously I make lists, grocery lists, all of that. So, um, and then the next one is this jot sticky note set. Um, these they released back in mother's day. Yeah. I barely found the third one. I have the other two and, uh, but I love the rose, the rose print that they went with this. I think it's so beautiful. Um, and it has like a little Velcro thing here. I always say with these little sets, great to throw in your planner bag. If you're a teacher I mean so useful or a student um, so you get like a longer list pad here the roses four different like page flags it kind of looks like watermarking with the green and pink and then two smaller ones this one's pink and this one has the roses on the bottom and then a smaller skinny sized um, list pad the little rose peeking out in the corner these are so pretty like this is something again that doesn't look like it's from Dollar Tree um, and then next up is a little coffee list pad. It says, but first coffee in the shape of a coffee cup. 60 sheets, magnetic. Who is obsessed with coffee? Let me know because I am. <laughs> okay, moving right along, we're headed towards the end of this video. Um, I did pick up two paper packs. Um, these, I always say, Every time you see them, buy your paper pack because they always sell out so fast. I use these all the time when I'm journaling and I've gone through, I don't even know, I lost count of how many paper packs I've actually, um, paper packs, it's not like I said paper packs. Um, every time I've gone through paper packs, I think the last time I was at like four or five, um, but I lost count after that. So I picked up two. 
um, but yeah, you get a wide variety of different papers in here with different textures. I loved that like teal green and that purple. I thought that was very vibrant. And then the next one has this like brown glitter little piece. Usually with the glitter, you only get one piece, but that's fine. And just a ton of different random pieces in there. Again, great for journaling, scrapbooking, DIYs, all that stuff. Um, and then I found these cute little jewels and gems. You get 32 by Crafter Squares. And they're just little hearts that have like pink, purple, turquoise awesome for DIYs. I got these for my pocket letter stash. I've been making some pocket letters and um, I needed some cute little gems to add to the extras. Um, and then some ribbon that has colorful gnomes. <laughs> I mean, it's so cute. I love gnomes. So I had to get that too. And then I finally found these metallic gel pins. You get eight in this pack. I have the glitter set and I also have another set of these and I love them. If you're looking for inexpensive gel pens that are metallic and that don't skip ink and they're vibrant and beautiful, you need to run to Dollar Tree and get these. They're so good, especially the gold one. For some reason, I use a gold one a lot. I use these more for like accents because they are very inky. So, um, if you are expecting them to last long and you want to write like a whole like journal entry using these pens, you're going to use up the pen ink very fast. So I recommend using these for like maybe a sentence or two or for like little stars, sparkles, like little accents like that. Um, these are great for that. But yeah, they are one millimeters um, smooth writing metal tip. Okay, um, so I did some quick little swatches of those metallic gel pens. Here they are. You can see how vibrant they are. Look at that purple one. It's like a deep purple. So pretty. But like I said, they're very inky, so just make sure you're not writing a whole story with them. Okay, so last items are some washi tape. They had a lot of brand new washi tape. But um, I got these for now. Um, so the first one here, very California. Again, 70s vibes. I don't know. Is it because of the brown and the like the golden yellow color? But I love the palm trees. I just I thought that was cool. Here's another summer themed one. I have like the popsicles and flip-flops and sunglasses. And then this one here with the white. They kind of look like little doodles, but it's just different little like foliage, ferns and stuff. And then I really like that sea green color. I think this one would be great for spring. And last but not least is this colorful one with the arrows. Kind of looks um like the art's kind of like watercolor a little bit, but yeah, very pretty. Okay guys, so there you go. That is the huge Dollar Tree haul that I've collected in the past two months. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a like if you did. It really helps out my channel. Comment down below which item was your favorite. What items will you be adding to your wish list? I would love to know. And don't forget to subscribe if you love hauls and you love Dollar Tree as much as I do. If you love stationery because I would love to have you here. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for spending some time with me. Um, <laughs> was a long video I'm pretty sure um so that's pretty much it anyway guys thank you stay safe stay kawaii and I'll see you next time